himself as a potential leader of the Mount Kenya region, as evidenced by his recent actions. As a second in command, Gashagwa is the most senior leader from the region and has been making moves to unite the region, including holding meetings with a former president Uhuru Kenyatta's party. However, it remains to be seen if Gashago can successfully unite the region and gain support from its leaders and citizens. Our very own Moiga William interrogates. In a move that suggests a power shift within the political landscape, the second in command in Mount Kenya region is picking up pace to take over the leadership vacuum left by former President Uhuru Kenyatta. This week, Rigade Gashagwa held meeting with leaders from the opposition side and top of the agenda was unity among political factions in the region. <laughs> Gashagua being the most senior leader from the Mount Kenya region and the deputy to the commander-in-chief, William Ruto, is making a move to assert himself as a political power player. His recent actions, such as holding a meeting with leaders from the opposition side, suggest that he may be positioning himself as a kingpin in the region's political landscape. We made a conscious decision to support you, not because you had an arrangement with Uru Kenyatta, no. Not because you are college, no, but because you have a pragmatic, clear strategy to revive our economy and put money in our pocket. That is why. And so far, Your Excellency, you have started well. In a significant challenge to the then perceived regional kingpin Uhuru Kenyatta, the former Madeira member of parliament rallied the vote Richmond Kenya region in defying President Kenyatta in the August election. The region overwhelmingly voted for President William Ruto, thereby challenging Kenyatta's position as the regional political leader. Ten Mount Kenya counties collectively gave Ruto nearly three million votes, while the president's main challenger ODM leader Raila Odinga garnered only 847,709 votes from the region. To litebelea deputy president, uh, katika office yake, kuangalia hali ya maendeleo katika mulima Kenya, sisi wenyewe ambao wengine nominated wengine walichaguliwa um, haja yetu sana tuone vile watu wetu watakuwa wanafaidika the, we do a SWOT analysis and make sure that in future that no other time where Mount Kenya people will be able to face each other you know that there will be one person on this side the other person on the other side it should never happen Earlier, the second in command vowed to unite the Mount Kenya region and to ensure that there are no political divisions between Mount Kenya East and West. This is a clear indication that he plans to take charge of the region's politics, with a section of leaders from the opposing side seemingly in agreement with his moves. We know that when we hunt as a pack, we are able to get more resources. We are able to benefit more as opposed to when we are divided. Among his calculated moves to carve a niche for himself as a leader from the region, Gashagwa has taken up the task of handling matters close to the hearts of residents of the region. Specifically, Gashagwa is focusing on farming, a key industry that majority of the region's residents depend on. He is taking on the task of dealing with cartels in the industry, which has been a long-standing issue for the farmers. This move is seen as a bold step towards addressing the concerns of the residents and positioning himself as a leader who is willing to tackle the region's pressing issues. Already, a number of leaders drawn from the Mount Kenya region have expressed confidence that Rigadi Gashagua is better placed to be the region's leader. Moige William, TV 47.